Hi friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video, we can see how to install OS Ticket on Ubuntu. OS Ticket is an open source ticketing system which is mostly used in support. It is written in PHP and it comes with a simple web interface which is used to manage, organize and track all your support ticket in your company. You can customize your data collected from the users using the custom fields in the ticketing tool. And you also have the other features like custom columns and queues, ticket filters, help topics, autoresponder, etc. Now we can see the installation of OS ticket on Ubuntu. For installing the OS ticket, you need to have the LAMP stack installed in your system. I will provide the link in the description for installing the LAMP stack. So you can follow the link to install the LAMP stack first and continue with this installation. So after installing the LAMP stack, First, we can set the host name to start the installation. I'm going to provide the host name as hostticket.test.com. Now the host name is changed. Now we can add this host entry to the etc host file. Now save this file and exit. Now the host name is set. Now we can configure the database for OS ticket. First, we can create the database login into mysql now create database next we can create the database user and set password for it and also grant privileges for the database to the database user now flush privileges and exit next we can download the os ticket package using the wget command now the package is getting downloaded this will take some time now the package is downloaded now we can extract the package to the directory os ticket using the unzip command now the package is extracted now we can list the files that is extracted now now you can see the two directories scripts and upload now we need to move this os ticket directory to bad ww next change directory to this include directory and we need to copy this sample os ticket configuration to ost config.php next we need to change the ownership for the bad ww directory now we can create the virtualos configuration for os ticket we can add this virtualos configuration to this virtualos file now save this file and exit and last we can restart this apache web server to make the configuration work now the apache web service is restarted now we can open the web browser and we can access the os ticket installation page after entering the host name in the browser, you can see the OS ticket installer page. All the prerequisites are OK. Now click continue. Now we can provide the help desk name or the default email for that. And you can select your primary language. Next you can add your primary administrator account. Next you need to enter the database details that you already created. The database name is OS ticket underscore db. And the username that you have created is OS ticket underscore user. And next, the password. Now click install now. Now we can see the message. The installation is completed successfully. Now we can see the message. You need to change the permission for the OST config.php file. So we can run this change mod command. Now we can remove this setup directory. So now the installation is completed. To access the staff control panel, you can see the URL here. And here's the login page. I'm going to, you can log in using the created user. And now it is successfully logged in. And here you can see the settings page. You can 
if you want to change the help desk url you can change and the name and the other settings are available if you want to force the https you can enable this option and in the dashboard you can see the system logs if you enter the host name you can see the ticketing tool page here you can create your new tickets you can enter your email address full name and the other details to create your tickets and you can also check the ticket status in this video we saw how to install os ticket on ubuntu thanks for watching this video post your comments and suggestions please share and subscribe to my channel press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos you can follow me on this instagram id and facebook page for any queries you can reach me on this skype id